Andrea from Media World, and welcome to a huge ass uh, collection update video. <laughs> uh, I've got quite a few stuff um, from Christmas, from things that I've been buying in the sales, things that I've purchased online, lots and lots of cool stuff just stacked up here. Uh, I'm going to show you it and see what I've got and you know see what you think. You know you might like it, you might not. Uh, please comment down below and see if you like any of these things that I've picked up. And you know, love to know your opinions and what things that you've bought. Um, I've checked out everyone's pretty much bought a lot of stuff over the Christmas holidays. I've sent a lot of videos on my news feeds. It's been really, really cool seeing what everyone's picked up and films they've really enjoyed and listened to and awesome stuff. So, as you can see, I'm in my work clothes. Um, you know, I couldn't be really bothered to get changed, to be perfectly honest. So, I'm just going to do it in my work clothes. So, yeah. what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's get straight to it. We have. Xbox 360 game first, we have Far Cry 3, uh, a game which everybody has been going crazy for, which is going like, must have this game, must have this game, and I can see why this game is absolutely amazing, a uh, fantastic game, uh, I've been playing it since uh, Friday of last week, if I think I'm correctly remember, yeah, and um, I really, really enjoyed it, um, it's just a really, it's an open world game, um, it's a third person shooter, but it's not a card game, it's a strategy game, it's a thinking game, uh, you cannot go into this enemy territory, which is guns blazing, you have to think about it, and you have to know what you want to do, otherwise you will get killed, and that's what I like about it, it's a thinking game, um, I like uh, all the advertisements they did for it, I like the uh, the Far Cry Experience uh, mini series they had, that was really fun, that was really cool, um, I love the game all, 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 as a whole package to be perfectly honest, it's just a really fun game, lots of cool weapons, lots of all cool upgrades, lots of uh, areas to explore and uh, achievements to unlock and challenges and all that type of stuff, so really cool stuff, uh, definitely been enjoying playing this, uh, the multiplayer is quite good also, uh, this, this is the uh, Lost Ex uh, Explorers edition which comes with the two extra missions, uh, I haven't played them yet, but I'm going to play them soon. Uh, once I finish the game, I'll probably do a review most likely. But um, if you haven't played this already, you haven't picked it up, go and pick it up. It is awesome. It's probably one of the best games of this year. So, far quite free. Next, we have two very special steelbooks. We have the Total Recall steelbook, the remake. Uh, I picked this up, I think it was Friday of this week, just passed. Uh, I bid it for £15 HMV, uh, pretty good purchase, um, I had loads and lots of steelbooks piled up on top in the sales. Uh, I was a bit like, sceptical at first, thinking, I don't know, you know, because I watched the theatrical version, thought it was good, I liked it, didn't think it was terrible or anything, not long and the director's cut was meant to be completely different, and I was like, hmm, I want to see the director's cut, and I want to see the extras, and to be perfectly honest, it is a pretty decent remake, it's not the best movie ever, but it is a pretty decent remake, and he does offer a lot of cool ideas, it's very deus ex you know, type of feel, kind of thing, that type of kind of uh, futuristic world. Uh, the director's going to be completely different, so I'm curious to see what they're going to do with that. So I could have a completely different opinion by after watching the director's cut, but we'll say uh, I've seen a lot of people done a lot more boxing for these uh, for these steelbook already. Uh, it's definitely worth picking up. It's a good film, um, but if you're a hardcore of the original, then I understand completely. Uh, yep, this is to the set. There you go, now. That's all the extras, of course. And there's the back. There's a spine. Really cool, some awesome still, but totally really cool. And of course, we're having the remake. I gotta have the original. <laughs> it's the uh, original uh, Blu-ray steelbook. I did this at HMV the same day for 15 quid. What I do, eh? <laughs> uh, if I'm gonna have the remake on Blu-ray on uh, steelbook, I gotta have the original also. And the original is absolutely amazing. I grew up watching this uh, re. Uh, original of Arnold Schwarzenegger and it is still fantastic, I love it. Uh, I've seen brief clips of it to see what the blue quality is like and it looks really really good, it looks um, different, it looks very, um, it's still every 80s, they haven't like um, boosted it up to like the fullest max ever kind of thing but I think they've done a certain kind of colours and sort of tones and stuff which makes it look in a certain way which I think is the director's kind of uh, purpose in a sense. But this is director's proved, he's able to over this uh, Blue transfer, and he said, Yeah, this is a good transfer, he likes this, so uh, you know, go and see what you feel yourself. Uh, it's a really cool, nice artwork and stuff. Spine, there you go, cool stuff. And of course, it is a Tudor set. There you go, that's the uh, Blu ray, and that's the DVD. It's a cool stuff. So, totally cool, still book edition Blu ray. 
Uh, next, we have uh, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Uh, this is dual play DVD and Blu ray set. A pretty awesome film, I pretty like it. Um, it's the only one I didn't have in my collection. For me, it is one, three, and four. I do not like the second one, the second one will not touch my collection. Uh, Ghost Protocol, I think, is a really, really is, is a pretty good movie. Um, I've had my ups and downs of it, I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure to be perfectly honest, but it is a good movie, it does deserve a place in my collection. It's awesome stuff. Uh, Ghost Protocol, awesome stuff. Next we have is the Expandables 2, a uh, nice, easy, cheap pickup. I put this for 12 quid at a CX. Uh, pretty much good pickup. I had fun watching it again. I had fun watching it in cinemas. I had fun watching it uh, again on the Blu ray. Uh, actress wasn't too bad. I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, the late scenes were okay, I suppose. Uh, a bit more character development, which I would like to see them back in, to be honest. Uh, the gag reels are okay, kind of thing. It's, the extras are basic, you know, very basic extras, but the extra film itself I thought was actually really good, and it's a nice, cheesy action movie featuring a lot of action stars, which is just awesome. So, yeah, go and check it out, x was 2. If you want to see my review for it, it's going to be linked to below somewhere, or go and check my previous videos, it's on there, so you can see my, my opinion on x was 2, the full review, anyway. x was 2. Next, we have the US uh, budget packs. It is uh, this one, we have. Puppet Masters and Deep Rising. Yes, I put this up ages, ages ago, way before Christmas, weeks, weeks before Christmas, uh, for four pounds. Oh, what a deal, man! Jesus Christ. Deep Rising and the Puppet Masters, two very hard films to get on DVD anyway, in the UK at least anyway, and to see them both on Blu-ray. Wow, what a deal. Uh, I've noticed a lot of pieces. A lot of people, anyway, I've been uh, picking up on these and like, holy shit, I gotta pick that up myself. So, uh, go and pick, if you see this in your local store, maybe in Walmart in the US or uh, the UK, if you if you're interested in this, uh, go and check on Amazon. Uh, just type in one of these names on Blu-ray and pick it up. It is region free. I have checked. Even though it says region A in the back, it is a region free set. Really, really happy to place these my DVDs and get them on Blu-ray now. Uh, both look really, really good on Blu-ray also. So yeah, definitely I can't like you. So budget pack, device and put masters, awesome stuff. Next we have Dollhouse Season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. This is the uh, double pack edition. Uh, this is for CX also for 12 quid. Uh, it's got a little damage to it, which I'm a little disappointed about, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, Dollhouse is a really, really good uh, little series that was on uh, by Josh Sweden, of course, the creator of the Avengers. Uh, really, really awesome series. I'm disappointed that it got you know, cancelled when it did. But um, I was quite happy that they managed to, you know, finish it off, and they did, like with season two. Uh, season two does wrap it up, and it does end the series in a good way. So uh, season one's a bit slow if you want to get into it, but season two really picks up massively and just goes full on action packed and does lots of twists and turns. Um, I haven't watched it yet and got around to watching it, but I will do, and I will get you some updates and some feedback on that and see what the blade quality is like. It's awesome stuff. Dog Art season one and two. Uh, next we have Alien vs Predator on DVD. Uh, this is the uh, extended version, the actual pro extended version, the young rated standard version. Uh, this was given to me by my mate Alex. Um, he said just have it because I got him the uh, Steelbook edition. And uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of Alien vs Predator. I think the first one is a bit meh. It's very too, it's a bit too restricted. It's a bit too safe in my opinion, you know. But you know, he give it to me as you know, just to have it kind of thing and. You know, I put it in my collection, so at some point I'm going to watch this one and to see if I actually truly do like it because I don't know. I just I have mixed opinions about this movie in so many different ways. So, Animus of Predator, you know, I still think uh, Wrecking Me was much much better, and just the first one was a bit restricted and a bit meh. But uh, Animus of Predator, it's in my collection, so there you go. <laughs> uh, next we have uh, Part One Four Three. Uh, I mentioned this movie ages back, I, I think briefly, uh, this is a really, really good movie. Uh, I did a trailer, I think a fan made trailer called, I think it was fan footage movies you must see, or, or you know, horror fan footage movies you must see, something along those lines, and clicked it in the trailer for that. Uh, this is a really, really good film. Uh, this is a fan footage movie. Um, it's basically uh, um, paranormal activity. Um, yeah, I mess mean, it. Paranormal Activity meets the ring. There you go, bang on description right there. Yeah, it is basically Paranormal Activity meets the ring. It is a lot more chilling. So a lot, a lot more stuff happens. It's got a lot more, uh, you know, simpler storyline. It's not just demons. It's, it's it actually has a really really good storyline to it. it. Has some really good characters. I really like the found footage elements to it. I like the camera setup, the brother type thing. 
and it's a really good storyline, it's a really good kind of ghost story that's just like, wow, that's really good, it's a one-off movie, go enjoy, it's really good, it's really creepy, uh, if you're watching it, uh, you know, with a laptop or your computer, put some headphones in, and you will be creeped the fuck out, because the sound quality is amazing, so yeah, um, Apart 143, excellent movie, go check it out. And lastly, we have a triple play feature. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon, ordered it ages, ages ago. I think for about 13 or 14 pounds, someone those lines. And this feature is a fantastic free double movies pack. If you just be Fandela, a Watchman director's cut and Constantine. Three fantastic movies, um, all on Blu ray, uh, region free, absolutely amazing. And it's a nice little slim package, which the US seem to like their slim packages for some reason. I don't really know why, compared to ours. <laughs> But yeah, it's a really nice package, it really fits nicely on the shelf, and it's nice to get all three movies on stunning on Blu-ray. Only disappointing thing is that I miss a couple of extras, especially in Watchmen Director's Cut, I mean, get no extras compared to my DVD Special Edition. But hey, I can keep the bonus just for that, so it's not exactly a big deal. So yeah, uh, definitely recommend this if you haven't got all these movies on Blu-ray, or get them separately, individually. But it worked out cheaper get it than a triple play pack, so yeah. So yeah, that's been my huge, uh, big ass <laughs> collection update. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I got a couple more packages on the way. Uh, I have Step Brothers on Blu-ray uh, coming soon. I have a couple of packages coming from a couple of subscribers. Uh, doing some trade with trades with, and there's probably gonna be a couple, one or two other stuff I'm gonna get in my, myself anyway, purchasing wise. So yeah, that's it, my collection for now. Uh, I will be doing a review for Jack Reacher, a fantastic movie that I watched uh, recently, a couple of days ago. I uh, really enjoyed that movie. Uh, I'm trying to do it maybe tomorrow or maybe for the new year, maybe, something along those lines. But yeah, I hope everyone has a happy new year. I hope everyone enjoys and has fun and celebrating. I'm going to be working, of course, tomorrow up until, you know, finish. So that's going to be fun, you know, battling with drunk people. So anyway, uh, and you're familiar with TV. <laughs> Signing off.